just don't know. I don't know whether it's going to be worth all the aggravation I'm going to get. Well, it seemed like a good idea at the time. Wait till the team find out. Oh, hi Merck. How are you doing? Good weekend? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. It's nice. Well, yes. I have really. I kind of accepted a challenge from three pretty well known restorers, you know, really top fledged guys. And, uh, I don't know whether it's um, something we should be doing. Crikey. Well, remember when we did the first episode of Ruin to Refreshed? You know, all them months ago. And it you know, it's when we first got started really, wasn't it? You know, we we struggled through it did the best we could at the time and we've won, you've got to say we've learnt a lot since then well we've got a bit of a challenge to restore another Land Rover yes yes I know I know Axel's not going to like it but, damn it, Merck, this is for the pride of the team. This is for the UK. This is for the Beef Eaters. Catch you later. Welcome back, lifers. PJ here. And this is a very special episode of Ruin to Refresh. This is the first inaugural, if I've got that right, Beef Eater Challenge. <clears throat> so, with Pip My Diecast, Diecast Salvage, and Martin Dare Restorations, I think I've got that right, we're taking on the challenge of restoring a Land Rover. So, the challenge is to restore on Land Rover whatever you've got. Now, it just so happens I've got these two Matchbox Safari Land Rovers. Made in England by Lesney, Matchbox Series, number 12, Land Rover Safari. Um, as you can see, these two are. <laughs> Excuse me a moment, folks. I feel it's going to be one of them episodes. Yes, Axel. What can I do for you? Mm. Yep, yeah, that's right. The Land Rover Safari. Yes, the one we've already done, but this time, I want to do it right. Look, if we have to take on extra stuff, we have to take on extra stuff. I can't, I can't do everything. Yes, I'll look into it. Look, who's the boss here? There are plenty of animated cartoon mechanics out there looking for work. Now will you please get with the programme? I know that you and the team can help me get this done. Right, okay. Do you mind if I carry on? Thank you. Sorry about that, folks. So, 
we're going to um, restore these as best as we can but without spending we're going to try and recreate the luggage racks that go on top yes I know we've got an helicopter in the workshop trust me workers so as I was saying we're going to try and restore these to their original colours or close as upgrade them slightly I guess if we can't get the exact colours and then we're going to try and create some luggage racks for them and hopefully that will be challenge complete so the first job is to get my team to drill the flanges on these and we'll have a look to see what we're dealing with so I'll catch you later cheers folks Okay then, so the first thing we're going to do is to remove the head of this flange. Uh, I'll do one and then I'll do the other off screen and then we'll take them both apart and see what we've got left. Hopefully that should be enough. Bit of a nasty crack there, but uh, off it comes. Well, these are pretty much identical models. Um, uh, first problem that presents itself is we have cracked plastic insert for the windows so we may end up taking this section out and replacing it I'll have to look into that the body that's in uh, fairly decent condition that just wants paint stripping the wheels I'll have to grind off these um, axles and I think I'll end up probably replacing them with some new axles. The uh, interior is in fairly decent condition, just wants a uh, good washing in some soapy water. It has got the ball on the back but I may end up removing that to match up with the other one so because that went fairly quickly we'll we'll do the other one while we're at it oh, this one's come off even easier so same plastic part Same plastic interior, but I think the windows in this one, plastic windscreen, is in a lot better condition. So, there we go. Two Land Rovers, disassembled, and I think the next step will be uh, to drop both of these bodies into some caustic soda and uh, see if the caustic soda goes four and four and zero we've had uh, three decent results uh, three decent results so far uh, I've done another model that will be coming up in another episode which also uh, I put in caustic soda and it cleaned it pretty well but as I say that's for another episode We'll put this, these, uh, these bodies in. Everything else just wants washing, really. And um, 
and we'll see what they come out like. So we'll catch you later. Okay, welcome back to the lab folks. And here we are with our two Land Rover bodies. And, uh, we'll put them in our glass jar. What? Wait, you're who? Professor Voltometer. Where are people getting these names from? Oh, you are, are you? Okay. I'll roll with it. So, the first thing we're going to do is add our hot water, as usual. Sorry? Yes, I'm wearing PPE. Yes, I know caustic soda is dangerous. Yes, you should keep it away from children. We've been through all this before. You're a new starter, aren't you? Yes, well, do keep up, Professor. Uh, uh, next, we'll be adding our caustic soda. If that's all right with you, Prof. Just scrape out the remnants of that. If you're using one of these um, medicine type measuring cups, make sure you wash them out afterwards. Don't leave any caustic soda in there. Uh, it really isn't good for you. Is that okay, Prof? Good. Okay, I can see some green coming off already, so that looks like it's going to be promising. So we'll put that up there, out the way, and give that half an hour. And the next thing we're going to do is this is this is just a bowl of um, washing up liquid. And we're going to drop our plastic parts in there. Give it a swirl around. And then uh, we'll come back and uh, see what they look like after they've been dried off. So we'll catch you later. Is that okay, Prof? Good? You happy? Fantastic. Sometimes I think we're wasting wages in this company. Catch you later, folks. Welcome back, folks. And you find us back at the desk with the pieces from our two Land Rovers. The um, bodies have come back from the caustic soda and have stripped really well. So it's 4-0 uh, to the caustic soda, to be honest. Uh, it's uh, done the job this time round and I've already been round it with um, a wire brush on the, um, on the Dremel. So they're done. Um, the plastics have been as I say, put in washing up liquid and cleaned up and then just to tidy up these bodies because it didn't get all the everything out of them not the bodies, these um, interiors I've used some methylated spirits and a cotton bud just to clean out some of the grime that was in the corners and tidy them up the chassis um, 
although the chassis are in good condition, these um, these axles leave a lot to be desired. So I'm considering taking these out, um, blackwashing the uh, wheels, and replacing the axles. Um, we have one glass interior that's um, in fine fettle. The other one, not only has it got a piece missing on one side, it's also got a crack on the other side. So at some point we're going to have to address that. As I said earlier, I might cut these out and replace them with um, I don't know, some plastic off a container of some sort. So that's where we are with the parts. Now my personal challenge in all of this is to do something about the luggage. So I was having a bit of a muck about with uh, some odds and ends and I've got this styrene and what I've ended up doing is just trying different options um, to see if I can get something to fit and whilst this isn't the finished product it was a bit of a test to see what it would look like so what I'm thinking of doing is actually making it out of timber so what we'll end up doing is drilling through this timber so it sits over this post and then I'm going to go to my local hardware shop and get some beading um, I've, you know just just a few odds and ends of timber and uh, try and recreate the luggage for the top and I'll post a inset picture or an inserted picture of what the luggage should actually look like uh, and whilst we probably won't get as close to that we'll have something resembling that I feel because we can just use some square and round um, beading and uh, I don't know we can use the, uh, the little grinding tool on the Dremel to put some grooves in it and. Uh, We'll make it look something like so that's my personal challenge the the rest of this these parts is fairly simple to uh, deal with so that's where we are folks um so the next stage will be that i'm going to get these two pieces drilled uh, for the screw and then we're going to prime it, prime them, and a trip to the hardware store. So, I'm not going to video the drilling of these. I will um, catch up with you in the uh, in the paint shop when we prime these, and we'll also catch up on how far we're getting with this uh, with this luggage. So, uh, I'll catch you later. Welcome back folks and uh, here we are in the workshop and it's prime time. Yeah, they look okay. So uh, we'll be back later to do a top coat. Catching a few. Mm. 
Okay, welcome back, folks. Um, and we're going with two colours on these Land Rovers. We're going with High Coat Rover British Racing Green Metallic on one of them. And we've got a sky blue colour from Plastic Coat, and that's a Gloss Super. So uh, let's give it a go and see what these come out like. So, two comparisons, I think they're going to be alright, I like that, I'll catch you later. So, welcome back folks. Um, and in this uh, part, we're just going to talk about this personal challenge of mine to create this luggage rack. Um, now, when I first started doing Ruin to Refresh, the first uh, model I did was this Land Rover. Um, and I forgot, to be honest, that I got it on the shelf. And I was never quite happy with it because I never finished it off. Um, so what I've done is I've taken the interior windscreen section out of this because I'm going to end up redoing it. I feel, um, and I'm going to, and I've also taken the uh, interior seats out of it as well. Um, I want to redo that one at another point in time. It was when I was first using an airbrush and uh, trying to do a two-tone and I was never quite happy with it. So I've used it as a uh, donor vehicle and a test vehicle. So if you remember from uh, the earlier sections in this video, this was the um, roof rack section I was playing about with. I didn't end up having to go to the hardware store. I found some bits of timber in the workshop downstairs, and as you can see, these this is like a, a spatula or I don't know. It's, it's like a oversized lollipop stick that you can get from uh, DIY stores. I've got some bits of kebab stick. Um, got some matchsticks, and that's some. This is some just uh, ten millimeter round dowling. So combining these together, I'm using the um, Dremel. This is what we've ended up with. So this has just been glued together. In sections, given a co given a coat of um, primer, and then I've used some Revell SM three eight two to give it a coat of coat of um, gloss enamel, and in all fairness, I think it's come out pretty well. Now, what I've done underneath it of it is to drill out some sections so it fits over the top of one of these posts and what it looks like now is 
is lighting up. And it's pretty close to what the actual lubbies look like uh, when this model first came out. Yes, there's a variation on a the theme, but it's it's all boxes and chests and barrels and such like. And I'm going to make a couple of these now. One to replace, well not replace, one to put on top of this model that I've never quite finished off. And another one for the two Land Rovers that um, we're doing for this challenge. Uh, so hopefully the next time we see these vehicles it'll be pretty close to completion we've done the top coats uh, we've drilled the posts um, we've washed all the parts I've got a couple of uh, the windscreens I want to dip in um, to, uh, the pledge polish and get them cleaned up and then there's some accents to do uh, this has been quite a lengthy video so um, hopefully if there's not one more chapter then we'll go to the reveal uh, but I've enjoyed doing this one it's been, a, it's been a bit of a challenge for a different reason so we'll catch up with you later cheers Welcome back to the reveal folks and here we go with our two completed number 12 Land Rovers and uh, I'm pleased with how these have turned out so from midlife models hopefully that is challenge complete I want to pass on my best wishes to George Paul Martin and one pimp my diecast diecast salvage martin dares dinky restorations and matchbox resurrection and uh, i've enjoyed doing this one it's been good fun um up to end up to um edit the end of this video because i think it was only fair to include one's name in uh, in the end credits and uh, we've also got a little display stand as well that I wanted to try out so this has been shot over a period of time um, hopefully me and the guys will be doing one of these challenges again in the coming months please give us a thumbs up subscribe to the channel subscribe to the channel of the other guys and uh, Thanks for watching. Stay safe and we'll see you soon. Cheers.